Hi Sagittarius, I hope that you guys are doing well. Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, Sag, let's see what's going on for us. I'm seeing there be almost like these pillars that you're walking away from here. Like maybe you decided that it was, um, I'm hearing in retrospect, it's like understanding that it's now time to, um, to move away from something, but maybe before you decide to make that move, there's something that you need to think about here. Like, I'm almost seeing it like we want to move into a space where we're being introspective before um, deciding on, I'm hearing a location that we want to start traveling towards, okay? And maybe this is also us needing to um, really go within so we don't prematurely make a move with something here as well it's almost like there being um being a type of guidance that's about needing to look within at what is going to actually make you happy and what you feel like you're being guided towards and like really needing that time before you're out and about with something okay it's like I'm getting this notion almost of somebody needing to really ponder something. And as I said, said that just now your card came out, it's about needing to sit and ponder something before you again, prematurely jump into something. It's like, just because you feel passionately about something doesn't mean you don't need to also think about what you're doing here. I'm getting something like that. It's like learning how to, um, Learning how to wrestle that inner impulsive feeling. This is about grounding the fire in our chart. Um, grounding, I'm hearing the instability. Again, this is about impulsively wanting to jump into things before thinking about it because you're like, eh, like it might go well or maybe that's what I'm feeling at the moment. I'm hearing flavor of the day very strongly. It's about, again, like taking your time to think about what you actually want here because when we're constantly chasing after things that um that may like feel good in a moment it's not ultimately going to feel fulfilling to you it's not ultimately going to feel satisfying to you and i'm seeing us again really needing to ground this sense of impulsivity before jumping into things because i'm seeing like you wanting to move away from something and towards something that you feel passionately about and then i'm seeing like us recognizing that we need to look within and then I'm seeing something again about like our impulses here and about like wanting to I'm hearing jump to conclusions as well jump into things jump to conclusions like feel a sense of um like impulses and wanting to again jump into things and I'm getting this vibe of us like really needing to I'm hearing assimilate really needing to ground that energy really needing time to Think, to sit and think about what we want to do, where we want to move forward from this point. I'm getting for some that this could even be, um, this could even be a notion of like jumping from person to person. It's like slowing down for a minute, like slow your roll and think about this. Like maybe you need, maybe you're feeling as I'm seeing in the cards, I'm channeling here. This is not, okay, I'm channeling. So I'm seeing us really feeling as I see in the cards like we need time to ourselves here before we're branching out maybe even before we're interacting with those around us in a way where we're initiating things okay
as I channel, this is always the energy that I'm reading on. This is not my Gabriella's personal opinion or me telling you what to do. This is what I'm feeling from the cards, what I'm seeing from the cards, what I'm channeling from the cards. So this is like a conversation between you and your higher self here rather than between myself and you personally. So always important to keep that in mind and be grounded when we're watching these videos and not to watch them unless you feel like you're in a grounded space. Otherwise, things can very easily be misconstrued here. So I'm getting this energy of um, maybe some sort of discipline with the ways, the ways that we want to be communicating. Like we may be moving into a place where we are even changing or altering the way that we communicate with others. Remember, energies can always be reversed, too. I'm being guided to mention that. I'm seeing us almost be in our heads about maybe even calling something out, maybe asking for a sense of... I'm hearing emotional reciprocity very strongly here. Maybe you feel nervous or... Um, intimidated about confronting somebody or a situation i'm getting that i'm seeing us be really caught up in our heads with something here it's interesting i'm getting this notion too like maybe you feel fearful of taking a pause and taking time to reflect because it's going to reveal something to you that needs to be addressed rather than impulsively jumping into things and it's like wanting to um like bypass doing the work of looking within and rather jump into things however i'm seeing that that's actually what's hindering you finding a sense of balance and like equality and reciprocity and this is why we're being guided to be patient here. And I'm seeing us like really need to take the time to assess the situation. Yeah, I'm seeing us calling judgment on an interpersonal relationship. I'm also hearing interpersonal conflict. I'm looking at Pluto, um, which is Scorpio. I'm looking at Gemini and I'm seeing somebody that we're working with here. Somebody that we're working with, somebody that we're hanging out with, somebody we've been spending time with, somebody we've been um, exchanging energy with. I'm seeing us making progress here, maybe with setting boundaries, maybe communicating, maybe being receptive. I'm hearing being more receptive. But I'm seeing it almost like um, maybe in the past we had been going through something where you felt like... Um, impulsively you kept jumping into things and now taking the time to be very sure about what we want to be manifesting here <coughs> excuse me taking your time to make sure that um what you're manifesting is coming from a grounded place coming from 
a place that is in line with the frequency of what you want to see materialize for yourself here. And I'm seeing us making progress here with um, like assessing situations, maybe something going on with an interpersonal relationship, maybe us needing to set boundaries with an interpersonal relationship, maybe the ways that we collaborate with somebody here. It's like you may be even setting boundaries with how much you are interacting with somebody, how much you're exchanging energy with them, how much time you're spending with them. In the first spread, I'm looking at Virgo, I'm looking at Mercury, and I'm looking at you, Sag. And in the second spread, I'm looking at Pluto, and I'm looking at Gemini. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing an interpersonal relationship, some somebody that we had been exchanging energy with, and I'm seeing us making progress with um setting boundaries because I'm seeing that there was something going on with this person that we felt um we felt left disappointed by the outcome of or maybe like how these exchanges of energy were going, how these interactions were going, something along those lines. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing us feeling hurt by something here. But I'm getting that we're, we're in the midst of working through this right now. I just saw 11-11 when I looked up. I'm hearing feeling congested and conflicted in the heart space. It's almost like you may feel like your heart is calling you in many different directions with something here. You may also feel upset because outwardly you could have um, had some sort of confrontation with somebody. And I'm seeing us moving away from this. I'm hearing outsourcing very strongly. Outsourcing. By moving on from whatever this was that left you feeling maybe heartbroken to a degree, hurt in some sort of way, like some sort of conflict that we had, I'm getting that this, is, this goes beyond just feeling internally conflicted. I'm seeing it almost be like something outwardly was going on in an interpersonal relationship that we had with somebody. I'm seeing that the further we distance ourselves, that's what I'm hearing very strongly, distance, distance ourselves from whatever this is, which means recognizing it for what it is. Um, I'm hearing cutting your losses and moving away from this. The closer you're going to get to your happiness, it's like right on the shore ahead I'm hearing. I'm seeing somebody that we could have been potentially working with. Maybe somebody that you saw to be a counterpart in a way. This can be a marriage from some that um, we're going through some sort of breakup with, okay? It's almost like I'm seeing something kind of crumbling down. Something that like could have potentially been harmonious. It's like 
feeling like this thing just isn't going to work out. I'm getting that. Like you may have been hopeful about a situation and then something was illuminated in a way where you kind of feel in a stuck energy even though you can understand what potentially something could have been, okay? For some, um, for some this is a masculine figure. Like this can be a boyfriend, something like that. Um, for some, this can even be a father figure. For others, this can be something going on in a work setting as well. But I'm seeing this most certainly be related to a close interpersonal relationship. But you could have also been like working with this person to a degree. Or even just seen them as like a very um, certain type of figure that could have potentially like been um, in, in a certain role in your life. Something like that. It's like needing that time to really shift our perspective here. For some, this is somebody that like could have been like a husband or somebody potentially that you could have seen as a husband. I'm seeing something like that. This can be someone of any gender. It doesn't need to be um, a man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm seeing us needing time, time to move away from this and time to think about what's actually going to make us happy and where we feel like we're being called, where we feel like we're being guided, what our intuition is telling us, what is going on in our emotional world, where we are going to find emotional satisfaction, where that happiness lies. Just like in, in the first spread, I'm seeing that this is a time where we really need to um, like review what's been going on for us, like maybe really taking a pause with something here, really waiting before we move forward because I'm getting that there's a lot that we need to digest, I'm hearing. This is really interesting. I'm seeing this almost be a lesson about what we wish for. Maybe also us understanding too that when we ignore red flags in a way, okay, or we're trying to manifest something in an ungrounded state, like how those things pan out for us, okay? It's like when you're not being realistic about something, or again, when you're like ignoring red flags, okay? Things like that. Like the ways that things turn out. Because this is all, again, a lesson about what we wish for. And I'm seeing us almost editing this. It's like moving to a place where we want to be more grounded maybe with the things that we wish for. Because I'm looking at um, I'm looking at Neptune as the only major arcana apart from Saturn here. And Neptune is all about the ways that we can slip into a fantasy world when Neptune is in its shadow and slip into a state of mind where um, we are having ungrounded fantasies, things that are not realistic or things that aren't in reality going on, or it can be about, I'm hearing sublimation very strongly. Um, it can be also about, um, it can be about addiction. It can be about avoiding, about escapism ultimately, and how um, sometimes when we don't want to face the reality of a situation, we can kind of create, and all of us have Pisces, Neptune, somewhere in our chart. It's about um, how we can create this false reality when we don't want to face what reality is. And um, this is all about grounding that aspect of our chart. I'm seeing us going through a big lesson. And you know what? When we have Neptune contacts, for example, in our synastry with somebody, there can be things that feel very... Um, 
very intangible I'm hearing like things that feel very elusive or like almost an ethereal energy that you have with somebody but this can be full of illusions and something that we really need to try to see to the bottom of the um, ocean with it's like getting to the bottom of the water and what your intuition is telling you and what your emotions I'm hearing are leading you towards Yeah, and I'm seeing that as we go through this lesson, we are working on, I'm hearing translating what our intuition is actually telling us here. It's wanting to have that sense of clarity with our intuition. And I'm seeing that, again, the further we move away from whatever situation this was, you're moving into a place of calm, a place of grounding, a place of thinking, a place of introspection, and working on seeing things in a way where we can be focusing on our pursuit of happiness here, focusing on getting more in touch with the water in our chart, and... Um, by our intuition as well and I'm seeing that our intuition at the end of the day here the guidance is for us to be setting boundaries with whatever dynamic this is that we have whatever like habit this is whatever space we enter where we're interacting with this person whatever that is for you setting boundaries with yourself here Okay, Sag, we are going to end it there on 2044. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.